Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is sort of a different video. So I am going to be talking about how to get rid of a keloid. I think that's how you say it. So basically a keloid is a little bump or like scar tissue that grows around your piercing. It can grow on your ear, anywhere really you get a piercing. But I had one on my nose piercing for quite a while. So basically I got my nose pierced in June of 2017 and everything was fine until I changed it to a hoop and then in August I grew a bump on my nose and I didn't know what it was, I didn't do any research about it so I decided that I was going to take out the hoop and put my stud back in um, which was a bad idea because my hoop was so thin, the wire was so thin that it had made the hole go smaller and the stud was a lot bigger so I couldn't get it back in didn't know what to do so I left it and then got it re-pierced two days after. So my advice if you do get a bump and you take your piercing out and you are wanting to get it re-pierced, wait at least a couple of weeks to a month because I waited two days and that meant that the person who pierced my nose went straight through the keloid. Obviously the keloid was growing on top, so like to the top of the piercing. Um, but they couldn't get it in the same place so they went straight through it so one it was really painful like oh it was horrible but then two it meant that the keloid just went bigger and it didn't stop anything I like anything I did would not make it go so I'd say around November 2017 I started spraying I have this spray on tea tree oil it's actually a back spray for your spots on your back um, but I was spraying it on my nose to try and get the scar tissue away But so that worked temporarily so it got it smaller to like it was tiny you couldn't see it when I had foundation on and the piercing was a stud at this point so you could hardly see it at all from November to January 2018 it would just come back now and again and it'd go really big and it'd be so annoying and I'd get rid of it for like in a week but it'd still be there, it'd never go, it'd just go really small. So in January I started researching because I had a cheerleading competition, which I've done a vlog on. I, so I had a cheerleading competition and I had to change it and I had to take out the stud. So, um, and I put a clear one in for the competition, but I couldn't get the stud back in because I was just not very good at that. So um, I put this heap back in and that meant that because I had messed with it, the scar tissue and the keloid came back and it was humongous. I'll insert a picture now. But it was horrific. Oh, it was, it just made me feel so self-conscious all the time that everyone was staring at it. And most people were because it was like just this weird spot growing on your face and like spots anyway aren't nice to have. I know it's like such a first world problem, but still. So at the end of January, I decided to do some research and the most common solution was to put toothpaste on your keloid. So this really worked well for me. I did it every night for two weeks and every time I'd wake up in the morning, I'd wash it with salt water and, um, and it went. So that is my tip on how to get rid of um, scar tissue on your nose or I guess it will work on other piercings. I've done it on my belly as well because it was a little bit infected. Oh, that's a bit too much information. But it went better. I hope this video helped you. I know it's a bit of an odd topic to talk about but um, some people did videos on it and they really helped me. I wish I'd known about a solution a lot sooner than like last year. <laughs> than just this year, but I'm glad my keloid has gone and hopefully it stays gone. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new and I will see you in the next video.